Hey, this is BT. I gotta get this review on and popping because I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get back to work. I'm gonna be left. Anyways, who is? Um, great races, man. Great races. Let's start off with Moto Three real quick. Um. All I gotta say is props to Jorge Navarro. He finally got it, man. He finally broke his cherry. He got the first win. I'm so happy for him. He rode a great race. Congratulations to him. But how about Brad Bender? Brad Bender is the electric eye. He's like, all right, I'll let you guys get ahead of me. And okay. And he'll and he snapped. What he did, he went up inside uh, Bastanini and a uh, 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 Fanati. And that he got he got sideways on a Moto 3 bike. That's unbelievable. Sideways on a Moto 3 bike. That's incredible. Props to Brad Bender, but you got to give it to Jorge Navarro. He finally got his first race, and he's kind of reminiscent in a way of uh, Mark Marquez in a way where uh, he didn't have the the personality off the bike, but as far as like being focused before the race, Jorge Navarro was a scary kid. I mean, like I saw him in the in the paddock, and I'm like, hey, uh, uh, I didn't even ask him for an autograph or a selfie or not. I was like, you know what? I'm going to leave this kid alone. I mean, he's not even 18. I'm scared of this kid. Seriously, I'm going to get security next time I see him. But he's awesome. Congratulations, Jorge Navarro. Good for him. Um, I thought it was a great. And Inaya Bastanini finally got it together. So congratulations to him. Great race by him. Um, so let's move on to Moto2. You know what? Let me tell you something about Moto2. I love the guy. I love Alex Renz. Love him, love him, love him. But he's always been like, he's bitching about, you know, hey, I deserve a factory ride. I deserve a factory ride. And then... He leads most of the race. He gets passed and he gets beat by four seconds after leading the race. He gets beat by four seconds. You know what that's like? That's like me begging a girl to go out with me. Like, come on, please go out with me. Please go out with me. Come on, I deserve it. Please go out with me. And then she goes, okay, I'll go out with you. And I go, hey, you got any money? You got any money? I'm kind of broke. You got any money? And can you pick me up? That's what that is like. I mean, I mean, you got to go earn that, man. I mean, no offense. I mean, granted, like I said, I don't race. And this is all fun and games and shits and giggles. But... If you're going to bitch about not having a factory ride, and then um, you go out, and I mean, I haven't seen him get dirty yet. I haven't seen him get dirty. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, Sam Lowe's, I can see Sam Lowe's getting dirty. Zarco gets dirty. I mean, he's not afraid of going up inside you and, and swapping, and, uh, you know, going back and forth, uh, banging handlebars, right? But Renz, Renz, I mean, he's like, he's like Lorenzo. When there's smooth uh, track ahead of him, he gets a good, uh, good lead. I mean, he can win a race, but I haven't seen him get dirty. And when you get older, you kind of like somebody that likes to get a little dirty. I mean, I'm not trying to get my personal life in here, but I'm just saying, you like, I want a rider who, who you know, get a little roughed up, a little scuffed up. You ain't afraid to like, oh, oh you want a battle? You want a battle? Well, let's go then. And that's, and uh, I just think Renz, I want to see him get dirty. You know, he, you want a factory ride? Show me you deserve a factory ride. Get dirty. Don't give me about four seconds. You know, but anyways, props to your hand, Zarco. Zarco is back. You watch what he does. He's ten. He's ten points behind Renz for the uh, for the championship lead. Moto Two is back. Great job. And somebody, I'm not the first one to say this, but somebody said it best. Alex Marquez is the Cal Crutchlow of Moto Two, and it's the truth, man. I'm always rooting for uh, Marquez. Next, you know, he bends it. Um, I hope, man. I hope he gets some points. He didn't get points. Uh, props to Baldassari. Baldassari fell. And he came back and got, he was in 21st place and he came back and he got some points. Props to Baldessari. Love Baldessari. Let's move on to Moto, Moto GP, GP. Oh my gosh. First of all, Lorenzo is one of the best um, on, on the uh, starts. Incredible start by Lorenzo. But it's weird to watch Lorenzo just start getting dry. He sank like the Titanic. And there wasn't no Rose or Jack to hold on to, if you know what I mean. He was sinking and sinking. And I was like, are you serious? It was, I mean, it was great to watch in a way like, oh, shit, really? And unfortunately, uh, it was great to watch uh, uh, new, new blood come in. Like Vinales wanted to get Pedrosa and he couldn't really get him. I thought that was a great battle. Props to uh, Vinales and Pedrosa for providing a great race. Unfortunately, that battle took Pedrosa out of the uh, the, the battle for, uh, for the lead. And... Um, Poor Lorenzo. I mean, I'm going to call him Crazy Joe, the bowling ball, Iannone. Because that's what he is. I mean, he barely... I mean, and now he's going to start from the back of the grid, which means he can take more people out. I mean, and, and, I, and I believe it was an accident. Like I said, I don't race MotoGP, and the track was changed. But, uh, I mean, I don't know. I, last year, Lorenzo... I mean, Lorenzo. Last year, when Marquez could have hit Lorenzo, he just went straight into the gravel trap. I don't know if he could have done that, but... Yeah, no, I mean, remember I said the scariest thing in the world is be racing and look over like, oh boy, Marquez is behind me. I think the scariest thing now is like, 
you know, and he's behind me, you know what? I'm just going to dump it in the gravel trap right now and let him pass me, and then I'll get behind him. I mean, honestly, that... That, that's how scary Iannone. If you see Iannone on your board and he's closing in on you, you know what? Just let him pass you and then get him back uh, in, the, in the turns and hope he knows how to stop. And yeah, it gives him breaks for Christmas. Get him breaks for Christmas. I think that'd be a good idea. But I'm going to call him Crazy Joe Iannone, the bowling ball. Yeah, Iannone. Andreas Iannone, Crazy Joe, bowling ball. Um... Ben, uh, I think Ben Spees had a great tweet. He called him the wrecking ball. He said, somebody shouldn't listen to wrecking ball by Miley Tires before they go race. Great tweet, Ben. Anyway, I thought it was a great race. Uh, man, Rossi is a genius. I mean, he, he might be having a better year in a way compared to last year. I mean, even though he, didn't, he had two DNFs, one was legitimately his fault, uh, the one in Austin, but... You can't blame him for Magello and way he comes back. He bounces back. He's a uh, he's he's kind of reminiscent in a way of Lorenzo. I thought he was going to check out. You got to give it to Marquez. His bike is terrible. I mean, he he does a great uh, great saving face, but their bike is terrible. What Marquez can do to hold that bike down, it, he's having an unbelievable year. Just I mean, that the bike is is out of control. It's like a kid at Walmart. It's like I said, come back here, and he's doing a great job of trying to contain it. And you got to give him props. The new Marquez showed up. And that he uh, went for that, he went wide, and then he goes, you know what, I saw Lorenzo was out, let me just dial it back. And unfortunately, for me, I wanted to see him make one one more uh, final final push, but you know what, he saw the points, and now he's leading to the points, so it's good, good for him, bad for us. I wanted to see a last lap, you know, kind of like, uh, like 2009 in Catalonia, but uh, props to Marquez, props to the new Marquez. He's leading the points, and uh, I thought it was kind of interesting to see the handshake at the end. I mean, it kind of made me feel good, and I thought what Marquez did, how he changed his number around for uh, Luis, uh, for Luis Salome, for Luis Salome, I thought that was great. I really did, and uh, who knows, man. People are saying all this stuff. Maybe Rossi did it for the cameras. It was calculated. I mean, I don't care. I thought it was great. I thought it was kind of funny in the press conference when uh, Marquez kind of patted Rossi on the shoulder, and they said, you know, is robbery over? I mean, who knows? I mean, they got Aston in two weeks, and all it takes is another inside move on the Aston last chicane, and uh, that friendship is over. But I thought that was kind of neat uh, that they kind of, you know, kind of shook hands. Even if it was for the press, I thought it was kind of neat. Who knows? Bygones might be bygones, but he's still going to remember. He's like an elephant. Ross is like an elephant. He's going to remember that. But who cares, man? I thought it was kind of great, and... Uh, I thought it was kind of funny how Rossi was like when they said, well, how about you and Lorenzo? And he's like, eh. If Lorenzo comes to me, then eh. But until then, eh. So who knows? I thought GP is better than ever this year. You got to love it. It's better than ever. It's back. It, it never went anywhere. But I think it's back and it's better than ever. Props to Dorna. Um, we're changing the uh, configuration. Props to the guys. for this. It was a difficult weekend. I'm not going to bring it up. We all know it was a difficult weekend. Man, they did what professionals do. They put their leathers on, and they gave a great show. And props to Rossi. Rossi on the brakes is so smooth. We talk about Lorenzo. Rossi on the brakes is like the Pacific Ocean. He's just smooth. And Loren and, uh, and Marquez is like, um, I'm just going to grab a handful of front brake and hope for the best. And Ian only goes, brakes, brakes, brakes. Anyway, so I thought it was a great race. I loved it. Um, uh, Moto, I'm going to say the rider of the race... The rider of the race, I think I'm going to have to go with, you know what, I'm going to have to go with uh, Jorge Navarro, just because it's his first race, and he's been there, he's been nipping at the bud, give it to Jorge Navarro, the kid, he didn't even smile at the press conference, I mean, that's how focused that kid is, props to him, props to Brad Bender for, for doing what he had to do and getting a second place, I thought that was great, and just all of them for just um, giving uh, Luis Salom uh, the credit uh, he deserved and, and, you know, this dedication, I thought it was great, anyway, I got go from late for work you guys have been great thank you so much and i think that's all i want to talk about and that's it and um let's uh, hope for a great race and ass thank you guys for listening take it easy hey